Hey guys, it's Brandon here again. So I just got off of Zoom and I was talking to a client and we had a heart to heart. Now, she was basically telling me that she graduated with honors. She works so hard. She's so ambitious. She has all the, the smarts, but why is she not successful? Now, I feel like this video is very relevant because there are a lot of intelligent people in this world. People who are hardworking, can figure things out, but you're not excelling. And the reason why is because you're not truly using your tools. So for example, when I was a little kid in Jamaica, my grandfather used to um, raise cows and he gave me this little paddle thing, right? Like this like little wooden thing. Now, basically, when the cows saw that, right? As big as those cows were, as strong as those cows were, they would back up. They'll run away from you if you just do it like this and look bigger. So now, I remember the gate was open and I'm standing there. My grandfather gave me the little paddle thing. And he's like, if the cow is coming towards the gate, just do this. He's going to back up. So the cow started walking towards me, right? And my you, I'm a little kid. <laughs> so I started shaking. I started panicking. I'm like, oh, my God, what the hell am I going to do? So I dropped the pallet and I ran. <laughs> so my grandfather now, this big, strong, alpha male dude, came and was like, Brandon, what the hell? <laughs> right? He's like, oh, just do this. It's going to back up. And my grandfather went around just doing this with the pal and the cow backed up. Now, the problem is this, right? I had the tools. I had the know-how, but I did not execute. And that's a problem with a lot of intelligent people. We have so much knowledge, but we are afraid to really act. And that is the biggest thing. Working on something is completely different than going after it. Like, people know my story before I got into business and economics and finances. I gave basketball my all. And yes, unfortunate things happened. I blew my knee out, did the surgeries, all, you know, things happened. But there were guys who I met that were very talented, literally guys who could play in the NBA. And they would be in that gym training and training and training. But when it came to the game, they were afraid to act and they would freeze up. One of the legendary coaches told me that was one of my problems. I had all the talent, but earlier in my career, I would freeze up. I was afraid to really go after it. So like, yes, you can know everything. Yes, you can study everything. But what about acting for it? Executing. And that's where we are afraid to, to, to perform. We do not execute. Now, successful people are not necessarily the most smartest people in the world. Like, they're just not. Successful people... Hire people, like for example, guys who run businesses, hire people who are much smarter than them that can do a, a specific task because they understand where they're lacking. Most smart people do not understand where they are lacking and they spend years trying to figure out where they're lacking instead of finding help to identify that lackness. Now, another thing is that you're uncreative. So back to my point with basketball. I did everything I could with basketball. Basketball was my life. It gave me energy. It was the reason why I woke up every single day. Basketball, basketball, basketball. But I didn't make it. I tried the corporate thing. It wasn't for me. Then I figured out different angles and I found my angle, which, is, which was being an entrepreneur, and I became very good at it, hence why I'm a multimillionaire now. So it's the same thing 
no matter what you're doing. Sometimes you are gifted and you're, well, not gifted, you're very talented and you understand what it takes to be successful, but you're focusing on a specific task and you do not know how to adjust. Sometimes you have to let that task go and learn how to adjust. Success and failure does not exist in my opinion. Meaning, meaning, I'm, I'm, I'm like, going, like having this in my brain. So bear with me. Well, they exist, but meaning they are transferable. So, for example, I didn't have the success that I needed to have being a basketball player, but I learned how to transfer it into being an entrepreneur. I didn't have the success I needed in the corporate world, but I transferred that success into what I'm doing today. And that is the same thing. No matter what you're doing, sometimes that angle is just not working. And yes, I'm all for the grind. I believe in toughing it out. But transferring your abilities and quitting are two different things. Failures quit. Successful people learn how to adjust and how to transfer. Apple, for example, which is one of the greatest businesses of all time, is a master of reinvention and, and transferring. Most of you lack that ability and this is why you, you're stuck and you feel like no matter what you're doing, you cannot excel. You have to open your mind and become, and become open-minded, understanding that there are multiple ways to become successful. You might not make it there and it's okay, but you can have a great life just as good as, as a life you were aspiring for in some other field than you would in a transferable field. So that's all it is, you know, really Going after the tools in which you have, you know, using the tools in which you have, really standing up, acting, being courageous, and learning how to be open minded and transfer your goals and transfer your success. So, guys, this is my video for today. And that young lady that I spoke to, you know who you are. You're going to be very successful. And I'm in your corner. And remember, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care. Bye bye.